to the Ben Bernanke story and the uh, chances now of Bernanke serving a second term as Fed chairman starting, it looks like, to improve. His current term is set to expire on Sunday. We reported to you last week that the confirmation vote is expected to be close. A number of Republicans and some Democrats have come out and said they plan to vote against reconfirming him. But over the weekend, a number of lawmakers, including a couple that you're looking at here, Republican Mitch McConnell, Democratic Senator Dick Durbin, say that not necessarily they plan to vote for him, but that they believe he will be confirmed. Appearing on Fox News Sunday, White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs outlined the risks, in his view, of not confirming Bernanke. Now would be uh, a particularly bad time to send a signal to uh, the international community and to our overall financial system uh, by uh, playing politics in any way with this upcoming vote. President Obama, Treasury Secretary Geithner, White House Chief Economic Advisor Larry Summers, all of them spent the weekend on the phone. So did Ben Bernanke, from what we understand, calling up key senators, trying to drum up support for the chairman. The Senate expected to vote on the Bernanke confirmation sometime this week. We've heard that before. We'll see if they actually have a vote on it this week. For an instant on it this morning, Fox Business contributor Charles Payne from WStreet.com is here as always. And we're glad to have Todd Schoenberger as well, Land Cult Trading in San Antonio, Texas. Good news for Bernanke here this morning, Todd. And if so, do you, do you think he should be uh, confirmed as the, uh, as the chairman of the Fed? Yes, I do, Connell, and a couple of reasons why. For one, if you just look at the, the certainty uh, factor on this, the markets hate uncertainty. So we need to have some type of stability right now, making sure that he does get the, re, re, uh, the, the nod for the reconfirmation for a second term. The other side of this is that you're right, McConnell and all of these other guys, they don't want to play politics right now. If anybody is going to halt him being renominated, they are going to be looked at actually as the villain at this point. So a lot of these congressmen want to take a step back. They understand that they need to show some stability at this position right now. And yeah, you're going to see him get renominated. There's no doubt about it. And actually, it should be clear sailing for him from here on out. Well, it is some strange, or there have been some strange uh, bedfellows made in Washington and all this because the opposition is not from one side or the other. It's from both sides, left and right, with maybe a middle coming to his aid. I don't know. Uh, Charles hasn't been the biggest Bernanke backer. You think, uh, what do you think this morning? Well, yeah, I don't think we uh, nominate him just so that the market has smooth sailing. Um, why should he not be confirmed? Why should he not be Well, my greatest fear is that, uh, that he's going to make the same mistakes that Greenspan made. And, and, you know, and that, to me, is one of the major contributing factors for why we are where we are right now. Leaving rates too low. Leaving rates too low for too long. I mean, when he says that, that had nothing to do with where we are right now. I think he's too close to the White House. Uh, you know, I think well, he I, was know, if, nominated by another White House, though, right? I, he, he definitely was, but you know, he's playing a game. I, I don't like the public relations campaign that he's been on. I don't think the a Fed chairman should even be involved in that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Doing television at 60 Minutes and yeah, it, leave that it, to it, us, it, right? Leave that to the leave, leave that, Yeah, I mean, it really does bother <laughs> me. I'm really worried about him. And um, you know, the only thing I would say is I don't. I'm not sure who the clear-cut person would be to step in. Right. So that's the turmoil aspect of it, but. I don't think we renominate him just simply so that the markets remain. Let me, let me see what Todd thinks. Cause he's a Bernanke backer. Uh, Charles brings up some, a lot of you know people have talked about this. Hey, what if he leaves rates too low for too long and repeat, repeats as Charles says the mistakes of the past? What about the risk there? Yeah, there is some risk there, but it seems that the risk is greater right now if he does start hiking rates. So he's never been a very vocal, um, he, he's been very vocal about the fact of keeping rates low, yeah. but he also has given some clues out there that, yes, they will start t a tightening policy sometime in 2010. So if that does happen, yes, that, he clearly is doing the responsible thing. But the other side of all of this, and Charles, I don't know if you're going to agree with me or not, but, you know, when you have the Fed chairman out there and he does do the television appearances and everything else, he is showing some transparency right now, which is unlike what our president had initially said. So if he is actually going to say, look, you know what, we are going to try to be as transparent and open to the public as possible, that is something that we didn't really see with Alan Greenspan. So I actually don't have a problem with him on 60 Minutes or being in the public view. If anything, he is letting the American public know that, hey, you know what, mm -hmm. we are on top of things and we are working to correct them. Hey, Charles. Nah. <laughs> nah. he's, he's promoting himself. And, hey, listen, I grew up in South Kakalaki. I'm a regular guy. They don't even want to be audited. I mean, the real transparency issues, they've, he's been fighting really very hard about. And they're not saying audit your decisions now. They're saying, listen, every six months, let's take a look at what you guys are doing so we can keep abreast and have a better feel for it all. Well, you don't want them auditing Fed decisions, do you? No. no well, you you want Fed, them auditing want, where the Fed want, money's going and that type of stuff. Obviously, we, you I don't think want monetary should have, policy to 
be audited directly. I mean, that politicizes it, doesn't it? Well, I think it's our, the whole thing is already politicized, to be honest with you. That's right. one of my problems. I think it is overly politicized. Listen, what did Harry Reid say? Harry Reid said he's got a deal already with Ben Bernanke, and that's why he's going to back him. What do you mean and, a deal? What did he say? I, he just sort of insinuated that somehow Ben Bernanke is going to be more accommodative. So, Todd, I don't think he's going to raise rates right, We're going to leave year. it there for now, Todd. Well, we'll get back into the issue a little bit later on in the show. I don't mean to cut you off, but we have some other, so many other stories to get to. Thanks um, uh, to both of you guys.